what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're primarily going to be talking about jeepers creepers 5 in this video here today but before i get into that i wanted to touch on hbo max's upcoming it prequel series titled welcome to dairy which i guess is actually just a working title because i guess an official title will be done or be revealed i meant to say after everything has been wrapped up with filming but this is coming from deadline who is reporting some cast members that have been found for the upcoming show it says that stephen king's it lives on in the max original prequel series welcome to dairy from the franchise filmmakers andy and barbara muschietti the cast that has been discovered for the upcoming series will have Taylor Page, Giovanna Depo, Chris Chalk, and James James Ramar are set to star in the upcoming series. Now, their character details have yet to be revealed. Andy Muschietti, we know, will direct multiple episodes of the series, including the first episode. Recently, we did just find out that, unfortunately, Bill Skarsgård most likely will not be returning to reprise his role as Pennywise in the upcoming series, which raises the question, of course, who will don the makeup next? He did, however, have some positive things to say just to make it your own and have fun with it, of course. Now, keeping things on a more positive note like Skarsgård, I am excited to see what everyone that was just announced to be, be starring in the upcoming series has to contribute to this franchise or, or to the upcoming series now the rumored plots details that are out there seem to be suggesting that it's going to have its own new losers club because we know this is taking place prior to those first two movies from Andy Muschietti and then since none of these stars are kids I'm wondering if in some capacity maybe they'll be the parents of our new losers club potentially but diving into Jeepers Creepers 5 getting to the main event of today's video Jeepers Creepers 5 is indeed still coming according to the writer of Jeepers Creepers 4, that being Sean Michael Argo. Now, this information is coming from one of the fan pages in Brazil, so thank you for this information. They reached out to Sean, as you see, and asked a few questions. Sean didn't hold back from letting it be known that 5 was indeed still happening, but that's all he is able to share right now. Now, keep in mind, Reborn, when it was announced to be released in 2021 was said to be the start of a new trilogy that was being launched but i'm certain a small percent want to see this trilogy play out after the fourth film which left such a bad taste in most people's mouth most people they don't want to see this shit <laughs> when asked if he'll return to write sean said we'll see and he went on to say that he hopes timo Varen solo returns to direct i'm going to be forward just like sean is being forward with the information on this upcoming sequel i do not now nor will i ever want to see Timo or Sean or Jake Seal for that matter near another Jeepers project. I don't want to see Lane and her idiotic fetus being chased around by the Creeper and its cult of idiots in a trilogy that several of us again have no interest in seeing playing out any further. I do not want this team back at all. But of course, it's not up to me. It's not up to you guys. It's up to those involved with producing, coming up with a storyline and thinking it'd be wise to even fund another project from other these people. If these people come back, best believe it's just another cash grab. It's going to be just as bad as Jeepers Creepers 4. It's going to probably outdo Jeepers Creepers 4 and become the next new worst entry in the franchise. The lawsuit surrounding 4 is still ongoing. So if you want to avoid another lawsuit talking to you guys, Screen Media, Infinity Films, and Jake Seal, I suggest that you get all your ducks in a row and get myriad pictures involved again unless you want to just show up in court again and have another movie from this franchise delayed and have the marketing stalled and just be dead on arrival because you don't know how to get everything in order before you start shooting a movie so jeepers creepers 4 was just so lackluster and poorly made that it did nothing but further fuel our desires to see trisha the taggarts giselle minxie and everyone else who participated in those first two decent films return with a proper conclusion to a trilogy sean not too far back had also said that he hopes to get a phone call soon regarding that they are going forward with another movie and they want him back and i sincerely just hope that that phone never rings i hope that phone never rings i hope somebody takes it off the hook i hope somebody cuts the landline i hope any type of communication possible that will relate to getting these people creatively involved with what just happened with four back i hope all aspects of communication are shut off and you can't reach them. You'll just have to be forced to get new people because we don't need them. We don't need them. They're not good for the brand. And they did nothing but run it further into the ground. I mean, you literally have people clamoring for Victor Salva to come back. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um, okay, so with that being said, he can't say Sean. Sean himself could just be saying this because he knows another creative team is being brought in for five. 
Otherwise, why be so forward with this information like this to a random fan online? I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Also, on the other side of things, he can say it's happening like he just did, but he can't say if he or Timo are returning. So my heart is praying that this means they were replaced with a director who has a passion for horror and a writer who can stay true to the original lore while getting rid of anything that people might have perceived as Victor Salva being portrayed within this character. That's all I can hope for because you can't say we don't want to do anything of like what Victor did and then still end up doing it anyway, which is what Ford did. It tried to be different, but ultimately you you basically were trying to you were basically trying to ignore what he had done, but you still kind of were doing the same thing, but in a more piss poor manner. So it's like, just give us someone who will not do that. They can at least erase anything that might be seen as negative, predatory and any other negative shadow that hanged over the creeper under the control of Victor Salva. Many people would argue it would always be there and you're not wrong to think that I get it. However, bring Jonathan Breck back, use real trucks, release it on Tubi or something in a, on a random streaming service. You don't need a lot of money to make a decent Jeepers Creepers movie. You don't. I get that the first movie was made for like $10 million. You don't need a high budget at all. Nothing whatsoever. You can do a four to three, four, I would say four to six million dollar budget. You can give us a script that focuses on the character of Trisha Jenner. You can give us something that not, it doesn't even have to focus on Trisha. Just do something that is set within the same universe. Uh, dial it back on the meta stuff because four took it overboard. I get that meta aspects in some capacity have been here since that original movie. Four took it overboard, I think, though. Dial it back on the meta stuff, get back to the true horror nature of it all and bring back Jonathan Breck and don't do something that is a complete train wreck like what happened with four Trisha at the center or some new characters at the center do something related to the character of Minxie set it in the same world set it 23 years later and ideally if you want to release it soon perfect year is next year next year is supposed to be the year that the creeper wakes up chances of it coming out next year are slim could it happen yes if anything if jeepers creepers 5 really is indeed happening i hope it's without sean michael argo i hope it's without timo i hope it's without anyone involved at scream media and i hope they bring all the original crew back and make like a decent low budget movie Guys, guys, let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. There's a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you want me to cover in the future. And do not bring that stupid-ass cult back. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.